Hey everyone, welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. If you're new here, hi, welcome. So for today, we are back at Tahiti Village in Las Vegas. So for this video specifically, it's only gonna be like a hotel and room tour because we will be staying here for like four days. And yes, we stay here a couple times. Our last time, it wasn't the best. So we're hoping it is better today or like this week in general. Already to start off, Tahiti offers like a lot of food places. This is like uh, 17 South Blues and Bites. And then there's more foods kind of like inside the lobby. Also right next to it, they do have a Denny's. So if you are into breakfast, they have Denny's. Across the street from here, like a couple lights down, there is like a bunch of food places and an outlet mall. Alyssa's been there, we've been there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're actually gonna go ahead and check out the hotel now. I don't know if we should do the room first or like, I think we should do the room first and then explain the hotel. Okay, so we did just check in, but our room wasn't ready yet but they did give us a key to access like the hotel which is like the pool and like all their amenities which I'll show you. There's like an arcade room, uh, kids playroom. I believe there's also like an upstairs that you can go to. That's like kind of like where you can stare outside but we'll go ahead and walk around and show you. In the main tower, they do have like a bunch of like activities. So here's a fitness center, activity center, spa, and sky view. So we're actually gonna check out the fitness center first. So there are currently people in there and I kind of don't want to like record in there for their privacy, but like I said, here's a fitness center. I'll try to get what I can without getting people. So we checked out the activity center. It was kind of like, it switched up. There used to be like a pool table, a foosball table, and just like a whole bunch of like games you can play. But now it's kind of like a bunch of tables and just like drawing. I'll show like a little clip of it, but now currently we are at the sky view area. So that's gonna be the 10th floor in the main tower. So right away when you walk in, it's like, oh my gosh, there's like no one here. It's empty. I'm not sure if people know about the sky view. So this is like the highest floor. You can go ahead and step outside, which we are gonna go ahead and do so. Is it? Oh, you should push. Ooh, it actually looks really nice out here. So it's kind of like a little balcony. You can just chill out here. And of course, like it says, the sky view. So you're gonna get the view. And then if you're wondering how close Tahiti Village is, to the strip, it's kind of like a 10 minute drive if I'm being quite honest with you. So it's like right there. And then like the outlets that I was talking about earlier, there are gonna be to the left. And that's honestly like a three minute drive. It's not that far at all. But here is a sky view. I'm at the very edge, it's pretty high. But it looks really nice out here. I bet you it looks at, at night, it's probably like the best. The lighting isn't too bad from here, but this is probably like a good photo opportunity to take like if you're up here. Like I said, it's like really dead right here. No one's here right now. It might be just like because it's a Monday today. But yeah, this is if you want to take cool pictures, there you go. Also, currently the pool is closed. I think it's because of the weather. It was raining a little bit earlier, so they did shut that down. So I got a little bit of it, but we're also going to walk around and try to see if I can get the lazy river. So they do have a lazy river a pool and they also have an arcade room that's different from the activity center usually the activity center used to have like i said foosball pool for the arcade room that is like actually arcade games which let's go ahead and check that out so obviously walking around tahiti you can clearly tell that their theme is like more tiki theme hawaii hawaiian sorry hawaiian themed but tiki themed as well so we're walking around they have like their hotel setup is actually pretty nice so walking this way it is the lazy river and unfortunately it does seem like it's closed right now like i said because of the weather there's also the adult um jacuzzi area over here or the hot tub i should say oh and it looks like there's more seating sorry i kind of got away there is more seating over here as well near the adult hot tub with more grills where you can cook your food and obviously some picnic tables to like eat with your family also, my sister and her boyfriend did point out, it looks like they're gonna have a show later on. That's kind of like where you would sit and like there's a stage. So here is the Lazy River. They also do offer inflatables for you to use when you go around and they also give you towels. Here's just part of it. So there's a bunch of fountains, like kind of like almost at every corner. Here's just a half, but it is currently closed right now. And there are a bunch of fences everywhere all around because in order to get in here, you do have to have the key card. And regarding the room key, you do have to have your room key to honestly get in around anywhere around here, which is a good thing because it's also safety wise, so no one can just come in and out. And there's like, to enter to the hotel rooms, you have to have the key card. To enter to the pool, you have to have the key card. Enter to the arcade room, you have to have the key card. Even if you are in the hotel already, you still need a key card in order to enter all the rooms. So the arcade room is called Tiki Cove Arcade. It is 
on the if you're walking towards this way it would be the left side of the pool and i'm probably just gonna show little clips about it because there are a bunch of people in there So that pretty much wraps up like what the hotel and resort uh, has to offer here in their amenities. But for now, let's go ahead and check out our room. So the final review, here is the room. When you walk in right away, oh, if you guys are wondering, sorry. This is gonna be the Royal Tahitian, also connected with Bora Bora, so I'll show you that. Um, so right away, you have like a little kitchen area. Here's a stove, oven, so you can cook. If you plan to stay long like us, how we're staying for like five days, Here's a fridge, you can have ice as well. Where you can put all your stuff in, all your food, all your drinks, leftovers, whatever you had throughout the night. Here's some cups and an ice bucket. They also have a microwave, which is pretty neat. That's empty. And then here are some more cups and plates and bowls. Also, what's pretty neat about here, they give you a toaster, a blender, a coffee maker with the actual coffee ingredients. They give you napkins, more utensils, knives. I think they're missing a couple things here. Here's the sink. They also give you like dish soap because they have a dishwasher. Also, what is cool about the Royal Tahitian is that they do give you a dryer and a washer. So there's that. And you also, if you forgot laundry detergent, they have it for you. And in this little closet, there is a broom and a dustpan. I think that's new. I don't think they've ever had that. And then an ironing board, if you're looking for that. Sorry if my recording is kind of fast. And here is like the living space area. They have a couch, which is also a pull-out bed. So you can pull it out and make it like a little bed if you have extra guests. A big table, TV, and then here is the balcony. Oops, let me just... So here's the balcony. Pretty neat. We only have a decent view, which is okay. So let's go ahead. Here's me. Hello. And check out the bedroom. So... Here's the bed. I think it's like a king. It looks like a king to me. It is actually clean this time around. Everything's folded, nice and neat. So I would definitely say it has definitely improved from my last visit already. Like you can smell it. It's pretty clean, but that also might be because we are in the main tower, tower five. So yeah, they also have a bunch of drawers and dressers where you can put all your clothes that you have. First day. And then here's the TV. But now let's go ahead and check out the restroom. So here's the restroom. They have two sinks, more storage area, and a big mirror. Hello, hi. They have a bathtub, which has jets, a shower. That's also kind of like a sauna. There's a steamer that you can use, and then the toilet. That's pretty much it for this part of it. But like I said, it's also connected to a regular Bora Bora room. So let's go ahead and check that out. So here's the door. We're just gonna go ahead and open it up. And here's just like a regular standard room, which is their Bora Bora room. And so you can also just get this room separate. Let me turn on the light, I'm sorry. So in this, standard room i guess you also have a pull out couch pull out bed couch more napkins blender dishwashing soap coffee maker and you should have cups in here as well yeah pretty much all the utilities that they have but there is going to be a mini fridge not as big as the other fridge but hey it's pretty neat and then here's a tv more storage room and then to my right is gonna be the restroom. So here's the shower. It's kind of like a shower bathtub mix. 
This one doesn't have jets. Like I said, this is a standard room. Um, kind of looks, I think it's just that the paint chipped off. So nothing bad there. They give you towels and then it's just a toilet and a sink. But this is also a double door. This one slides into the bedroom. There's also a door here that connects to the living room. There's a lot of doors, honestly, but this is gonna connect to the bedroom. So like I said, I think it's a king, pretty sure. You got two nightstands with lamps. You don't have a balcony, but I mean, you do have this big window, kind of dirty. Not too bad though. And then you have a TV and a dresser. And in the closet, here are hangers, blankets, sheets, pillows. I believe it also has an iron in here. Yes, an iron and an ironing board. So if you were just to walk in, this is the view you would get. So it's kind of pretty big and spacious considering a Vegas room. So here's like the full walkthrough through the room. And then, like I said, here's the restroom. Look good. But that is it for the room tour. That is basically everything you get. It is really nice and actually it is clean this time around. Like I said, my last day was unfortunately really dirty, but it seems like they have changed up. Hold on, bad lighting. They have changed up like the way they clean, thankfully. But yeah, I would honestly say it is recommended. You should definitely come here. So that concludes today's video of the hotel and room tour. Well, hotel and resort. R room tour as well. Um, I would honestly say we are pretty happy from what it looks like right now. And I would definitely recommend coming here. Like I said, it's not too far off from the strip, but a good distance away from it if you aren't into like the party life at night. And then, like I said, across the street from here is the outlet, so you can go shopping. There's a bunch of food, fast food centers there too as well. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. Have a good day. Bye.